Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this portable power station, the B500 by Fatorg, and it's compatible solar panel, which is a 100 watt panel right here. It has a 518 watt hour capacity, and it has, uh, it can output up to 500 watts. So we got the AC to DC plug to charge it, which is 100 to 240 volts. So you could basically charge this and use this as emergency backup, or if you're going camping, or if you're going to a park or something and you just want to charge stuff, you can plug this into your wall charger and take this with you and charge stuff or use stuff that's there because it does have the 110 volt uh, output. We have USB-C to USB-C, so you could plug in your phone or your tablet or anything like that and charge that. This is the solar connector. We also have the car charger. So you can also charge this using the 12 volt from your car. And looks like we have some, this is typically for solar type of connections. We have the USBs right here, USB A's, USB C's. And it looks like we can output 12 volts here and the input is for this. So this is how you're gonna charge it. And yeah, and then when you, if you, if you wanna use this, you would basically turn this on so this activates and then plug stuff in. And if you don't want to use it, you turn it off. So yeah, and then the same thing is uh, for this. DC stands for direct current, AC stands for alternating current. So this is for AC, this is for DC, and light. Oh yeah, so that's the light right there. That's a pretty bright light actually, kind of cool. Solar panel, basically aim it to the sun. Okay, so, okay, that's magnetic, that's cool. And yeah. Aim this at the sun, um, don't put it outside when it's raining, and you should be good to go. And then these are the back stands. Again, I'll play with this, and we'll go from there. I'll show you guys what it looks like outside. And the cabling should be inside here. Yeah. So the solar panel comes with three different types of cables. Typically, you can only use one at a time. So in order to charge the power bank it basically just plug this in here plug this into the input and as long as it was getting sun some power and stuff it would start charging there's a few ways of setting it up but because of these holes I hooked up cable ties to this and hooked that up to a carabiner and basically hanging it and getting full sun so a very nice and convenient way of doing it and let me show you guys what it's charging at I did walk in front of it but it should go up. It gets to about just under 60 watts of power. Let me... Now I set it up directly pointing to the sun at an angle, which does make a difference. So I wanted to show you guys that. And we are getting 80, 81. Let's see if the camera can show that a little more clearly. There it is. You guys could see it right there. 80. I've seen it go as high as 84, but typically it's just right around 80. Now, if you guys are wondering, can this charge any other type of power station? And the answer is yes, it can charge the Jackery. Now, the Jackery actually just uses this thicker one without the adapter. So you just plug it straight in and it'll pick it up and it should start charging any minute now. So it's getting it at 782, 85. That's 86, as you guys can see right there. You can also use this adapter to connect directly to the solar panel. You have two USB-A ports and a USB-C port. So you can actually plug in your phone and it will start charging right away. So again, push it in, starts charging right away. And it says super fast charging. And while that's charging, you can also connect your other device and plug that in and boom 41 percent and it's charging there it is now for the next part of the test we're going to plug in the power adapter it comes with it is rated for 90 watts it can output 90 watts according to the ac to dc converter so it's currently giving it at 30 and the highest i've seen it is 87 which is to be expected basically they're never typically perfectly at the number that they're rated for so yeah, 87, and I don't think it goes higher than that, but that's what you can expect. Now, since this is a 518 watt hour battery, and if it's charging at 87 watts, it's gonna take, just doing some very, very rough math, 
it's going to take about six hours for a full zero to a hundred percent charge. So for the first thing, I wanted to connect this to my fridge. I know my fridge takes less than 500 watts of power. So you can see it's powering my fridge, no problem. Cool, everything is good. So if I go now and I turn this off, there's no more power going to it and my fridge doesn't work. So this would be good for power outages. If there was a power outage, this thing can actually save my fridge from, you know, from the food going bad for a couple hours basically. But it depends on the model that you have. So some fridges might actually take more power than this and you can't actually use it for that. So you do have to know it has to be less than 500 watts for this to actually work. But I brought a whole bunch of stuff with me that I could see myself charging with one of these portable power stations. So, starting off, we have the Traxxas charger. This is a fast charger, it charges the more powerful 6700 milliampere four cell LiPo batteries for the RC car. This plugs into the power outlet. We have the laptop, which also plugs into the power outlet. There are two outlets on this, as you guys could see. And yes, you can use both of them at the same time, assuming the power you're drawing is less than 500 watts. In fact, that's true across the board. So everything that's connected to it at once needs to be drawing 500 watts or less. Really 500 watts is the limit. And then I have phones, another Android phone, uh, iPad, Kindle. I mean, you guys get the idea. Okay, so let's actually just start plugging stuff in. I'll actually turn on the RC car charger at the very end because it's, it is a bit noisy when you're plugging it in. Okay, so let's start with, let's start with the phones actually. So I'll plug this in and I'll plug this in. And once I start, once I plug this stuff in, it's not gonna start charging right away. What it's going to do is I actually have to hit this button which enables the DC portion of it which then starts charging as you guys can see the iPhone just started charging and the same is true for in fact I have the Kindle hooked up right now to that and I'll also plug in since it's USB-C the common standard I'll plug it to my Samsung S23 Ultra boom that starts charging says fast charging there are faster charging than that, so this is not the fastest, but should be fast enough. Plugging it into the iPad tablet, that starts charging. And now let's actually turn on the AC power. And if you pay attention right here, you'll see that this icon changed and now it shows that it's charging. And if I hold this, it'll actually start charging the battery. The fan is gonna go on, so this is gonna get a bit noisy and this thing power should go to right around 300 watts or so because this thing actually by itself takes around 240 watts or 250 watts something like that if you're thinking hey can i charge you know power tools uh power tool batteries most of them i okay i'm not going to say most of them but a lot of the power tool batteries that i have can be charged with this because they take less than 500 watts but running a power tool straight from this most power tools can't because most power tools take more than 500 watts. So if you're getting this to hook up a power tool and turn it on, it probably won't power most of them. But if you're getting it to just charge some batteries for some, let's just say some Dewalt 20 volts or some Milwaukee 18 volts or Makita or whatever, 18 volts, I think most of those, this should be okay for that. Anyways, this thing's awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.